if I click on the create record uh, record uh, component so it will have some uh, some function behind uh, Bismillah and Roshni. Hello and welcome to Amshatag. Today we are continuing our applying logic series. So in this point we will discuss using formula functions. Using formula functions in SAP Build App allow developers to manipulate data, perform calculation and add logic to their applications. This function operates similarly to formulas in a special application, enabling data transformation and logic without requiring complex coding. It's mean that the formula function incredibly help developers to uh, to maintain a different type of calculation and to maintain the uh, different type of logic which uh, which I use in our normal routine just like we do in a spreadsheet application and some other public application. So uh, here is the detailed explanation of using formula functions in SAP Build App including examples. First of all, I want to introduce the formula functions. Formula functions in SAP Build App are tools that perform operations on data Either it is arithmetic calculation, either it is string manipulation, either it is data operations. It transforms input data into a desired output format. It adds dynamic behavior to your application. Moving on, formulas are written in the formula editor, a UI that allows you to select functions, combine them and test is it. You can use these logic flows, binding and variables. So, moving on, uh, accessing the formula editor. How we can access the formula editor in a Build app? We will explore practically later in this video. Uh, when uh, there are two options, when we will when we will we can access the formula editor. One is when creating logic flows, and the other one is while binding data. So, uh, we will uh, we will also explore the um, for variable we have to set the initial value of the variable and process its value value using a formula we can also uh, use uh, we can also use formula function for this formula syntax the most important thing is what will be the formulas uh, syntax and how we can uh, we can use the syntax by reassembling JavaScript functions. Functions are chained together with input processed sequentially. You can use operators, predefined functions, or custom logic. For example, uh, syntax is uh, uh, sum array bracket one two three. Calculate it will calculate the sum of the array. Is it is six? And number two example is format date time now so uh, we the formats it formats the current date that is 2024-11-23 because the dd comes the last at the last of the format so our date will uh, the day the day will come at the last of the uh, last of the format so let's move on common form Common formula functions with examples. Here are commonly used categories of formula function in SAP Build App. Uh, number one is string manipulation. In string manipulation, the most uh, uh, used uh, function is concat. It combines the multiple string. Number two is uppercase. It converts text to in uppercase. As we already know, the length function is also important. It gets the length of a string. The num the second type of uh, uh, the se second type of functions are arithmetic operation. For arithmetic operation, we use add, divide, round, and so on. Number third is array functions. In array function, we use map, find, join, and so on. The map transform each element in an array as shows in this example. The file locates the element in an array. As mentioned in this example, 
Let me am finding the uh, the character f at b. So the function uh, look the function look at the b and return the uh, the one because uh, the location of b is one. This x function is joined. It combines an element into a string. In this uh, format. We are using join and then array and then SAP build apps. So the output will be SAP build apps. The next category is date and time functions. In date and fun time function, we use we mostly use now format date and time at time. Now retrieve the current date and time format data date and time uh, format the uh, format the the given date. In the function add time adds time to that date. For example, if we use the now five days, it means we have to uh, the system will return the current date with the addition of five days. The next category is logic from logical function. Uh, the most uh, important are if and or. So, as describing function, it's very easily that if 5 is greater than 3, the, the answer will be yes, otherwise no. So, if uh, uh, syntax is used like this, whereas the AND function have the two, uh, two, uh, two conditions side by side, and it returns the true uh, while, the, while, both the, while uh, both conditions are true. The next uh, category is practical example. In this thing, we uh, we explore the practical example. Like here, first of all, we are discussing dynamic uh, greeting. We use Concat to create a dynamic greeting based on the user's name. Uh, for this, we use the formula Concat, and then uh, and then welcome, and this will merge the welcome to the app username, uh, and then the as exclamation mark. For example, if the user input the John for the username, the system will return the welcome John exclamation mark. Moving on, uh, we are uh, we are going to uh, moving on. The another example is calculating total price. Suppose you want to calculate the total price for a product list with con with quantity and price per item. So for this we will use the formula sum map data dot product list item dot quantity and then item dot quantity multiplied by item price. It means the calculation uh, will done and the return and the result will return. So uh, moving on, display current date. We already discussed the current date uh, uh, current date variable which show uh, current sorry the current we already explored the current date function uh, now but here we use the format date time now to display the current date in a human readable format format date time now will format the current uh, the format provided in the function last but not least uh, if we summarize formula function in SAP build app enhance the ability to create dynamic logic driven applications they eliminate the need for complex custom code and integrate seamlessly with other app components moving on testing formulas the formula editor includes the testing panel where you can view at the output of your formula with simple with sample inputs Number second thing is it's debug and fine tune complex formulas. The next thing is best practices. Organize variables, keep your variable descriptive for easier formula manager. Organize variables, keep your variables descriptive for easier formula management. Which means we have to uh, keep our variable very descriptive. So then the new developer or any person can easily read our uh, formula, functions of formula management. The next thing important 
Hence, test frequency. Use the testing panel to validate your logic. And number third is reuse formulas. Store reusable formulas in app variables or logic flows. So, uh, these are the three best practices with SAP Advice. So, let's uh, move straight to the system and explore how we can access the formula editor and how we can apply some formula in that. So, let's move on. Here it is. Now, we have come to our application that is my to do uh, application. My to do list, it's, uh, we have already discussed what the application do. It's maintain the uh, to do list, to do task and whenever we do the task, it eliminate that task from the list. So, uh, let's uh, we are discussing the formula functions. So, if I click on the page and then go to the to do page it will redirect to the logic logic flow logic functions so so in this logic canvas if i click on the variable and then go to the uh, to the bounding option it will ask from uh, from us that set data variable by a formula if i click on the formula it will redirect to the uh, to our formula and if I click here it will show the formula behind that component so here the all the formula already applied that get record collection dot records in this uh, formula editor we can also use the app variable name if we click on the plus it will click or it will add in the uh, in the formula bar and if i click on the data variable we can also use the data variable in our uh, in our formula so if i click on the data to do 10 it will it will add like this Moving on, the other uh, other option, if uh, via the other option is from uh, via the component. So if I click on any component and then go to its uh, uh, its logic flow or coding, so our button has been uh, has been logically uh, settled. So if I click on the utility, if condition so for the exploration of condition for fixing the condition the formula editor will be included will be executed here it is now if i click on the formula it will show the formula which is already built in that is empty page variable new task title if i click on the create record uh, record uh, component so it will have some uh, some function behind uh, behind this we can also uh, find the formula behind this the title page variable new task title completed and then for otherwise false created at now so it's mean if i click on this line it will redirect to our formula editor and uh, by using the different type of uh, data variable and variable we can easily very easily manage the logic uh, behind any formula and that will greatly support the page formulation or page flow hope you learned something from this uh, video hope you learned something new from this video if you like if you learn something from this video, do click on the like button and uh, do, do also subscribe to my channel so then you can find uh, some more interesting videos uh, very easily. So let's meet into another new video. Till then, bye bye, take care.